I've believed for a long time that um, the center, at the center of the poetic enterprise is love poetry. And uh, I've suggested that if poetry were a wheel, the hub of that wheel would be love poetry and branching out from it like spokes would be the other concerns, um, children, family, country, animals, uh, whatever. And I want to read a poem from my fourth book. Uh, I'd have been in my late 30s, I think, when I wrote this. Um, it's six quatrains, and that's a favorite shape of mine. Six quat quatrains, um, 24, 24 lines, if I may assist you with your mental arithmetic. Um, and this is a, a, a love poem, of course, it's got an erotic charge, but it's also a kind of a, a love poem to my native province of Ulster, where um, in the olden days, the linen industry was a, 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 a key a key industry, and no longer the case, alas. And in this poem, there's a resolving image of the bleach green. Um, at the height of summer, the, the woven material will be laid out in, on, on the bleach green, in, on a field to bleach in the sun, so that at the height of summer, it would appear that there had been a fall of snow. <clears throat> the linen industry. Pulling up flax after the blue flowers have fallen and laying our handfuls in the peaty water to rot those grasses to the bone. Or building stooks that recall the skirts of an invisible dancer. We become a part of the linen industry and follow its processes to the grubby town, where fields are compacted into window boxes, and there is little room among the big machines. But even in our attic under the skylight, we make love on a bleach green, the whole meadow draped with material turning white in the sun, as though snow reluctant to melt were our attire. What's passion but a battering of stubborn stalks, then a gentle combing out of fibres like hair, and a weaving of these into christening robes, into garments for a marriage or funeral. Since it's like a bereavement once the labour's done, to find ourselves last workers in a dying trade. Let flax be our matchmaker, our undertaker, the provider of sheets for whatever the bed. And be shy of your breasts in the presence of death. Say that you look more beautiful in linen, wearing white petticoats, the bow on your bodice, a butterfly attending the embroidered flowers.